And for our final test, maybe the test of our relationship as well, um, here's Holly in a giant cone costume. Welcome back everybody to Tesla the Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not allowed to leave the house. We're all in isolation here in the UK. So this is the video I've got planned today. In front of me, I've got different cones and I've also got some bins. I've got my dog, I've got my daughter and I've got my fiance. And we're gonna see what does the visualization see and how accurate is it? So you can see in front of me here, or at least I hope you can. Let me back up just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. Uh, I've got one very small cone on the left, a slightly, slightly bigger cone. Then we've got a foldable cone in the middle. On the right there is a 50 mile an hour highway cone. So that's if you're using roads of 50 mile an hour or below. And then we've got a pole. Let's see what the car sees in front of it. Oh, okay. That's actually, that's actually not bad. That's not too bad. It's a little bit confused. You can see that it's placing one of them really far away. And I'm assuming that's the top of that pole. Uh, it's actually showing it really, really far away. Let's creep towards them and see what the car visualization does, whether it picks up a pole or it shows the correct amount of cones. So you can see as we move forward, it seems to put two cones behind each other, uh, which is obviously the difference in distance. Is it gonna show a cone at all? Uh, sorry, a pole at all? Yes, oh, there it did. It did for a very split second. It showed that one as a pole. So what it's doing is it's actually showing the five cones correctly, except this cone here should be a pole. And then it's having some trouble with that pole and that's making it show two cones there, one cone at the back, and you see the 50 mile an hour cone, because it's slightly bigger than the others, it's also got another cone behind it. Let's see how close then we can get to it and whether it changes to a pole again. Yeah, look, very quick, there it is. Oh, for a split second, it changes to, to a pole and back. So we're gonna keep on going towards it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's put the car in summon. So I've got my phone here and I'm gonna go into summon mode. And I'm gonna let the car drive forward and we're gonna see, will the car summon into cones? There you go, so it sees the cones, it sees the poles, and I'm just gonna let it go. Is it gonna do it? It's stopping. It stopped, look at that, that is brilliant. Okay, Holly, let's see, did it touch any of the cones? Did it pick them up? How far away was it? Look at that, so actually now, even dumb summon will stop the car. So let's reverse. Holly's just gonna walk in front of the cones and behind the cones quickly, and we're gonna see what that is in the visualization. So will it pick her up? Yeah, look at that, oh, kind of. <laughs> so it picked her up for a split second. Yeah, there you go again. So she's in front of the cones and the car clearly shows that she's in front of the cones. Go behind the cones. Okay, so she's gonna go behind the cones. Now the car still thinks she's in front of the cones. And it's only kind of temporar temporarily picking her up. So it, it's not quite got the depth correct there, as you can see, um, but it is picking her up and obviously cone. So not too bad. Holly's now gonna pick a cone up and move about with it. And let's see what the car does. Is it gonna freak out? Is it gonna show? So it actually showing a cone all the way in the back there. So it thinks it's miles away. Yeah, look, look at that. The cone in the background, there's two cones flying about. Oh, it thinks she's a bin. <laughs> It's still got a cone in the background flying about. This is hilarious. Uh, and one more time. Yeah, it just think there's a cone just floating in the background. There's like a ghost cone. This is gonna be really tough for it. So it's already got issues showing the pole and now she's gonna walk around with the, I love her so much that she's doing this for us, everybody. Hit the like button, please, for Holly doing this for us. So it's showing again a cone kind of walking around. It is showing Holly as well. Can you go all the way to the garage? Let's see if it, I want it to pick up the depth um, and to show that she's way behind these cones. There you go, okay, so she's now behind the cones and it thinks she's a car. So it's it's definitely seeing stuff, but it's not, it's not showing it correctly. So again, it's shown a person just in front of it and apparently a car, <laughs> but it's not picking up the pole. Yeah, it's not picking up the pole at all. This is really interesting. So even though all of the cones have gone, it's still showing the cones there. Now the car actually does remember the location of some things. So let's just kind of reset this by driving forward slightly. Now you can see that it's not resetting. It actually thinks that we're inside Holly at the moment. Um, let's back out a little bit. No, look at that. It's still showing all of the cones. Okay, what if I get out and reset the car? 
Now look at that, it still thinks that there's loads of cones in front of it. Now for some reason it's showing two bins and a person when in front of us there is only holly. So again, it it's kind of, kind of confused. Let's try powering off the car and see if that resets it. So we're gonna give it a minute. Does it still show the cones? It still shows all of the cones. Okay, let's see then. Even though there is nothing in front of it, it's obviously showing that there used to be stuff in front of it. Will it summon past these cones that it thinks are there but are not there? Is it going to show us those phantom cones now? Or Yeah, look at that. It's still showing the phantom cones. But will it go through them this time? Because obviously they're not there anymore. It is actually going through the cones. It's going through the bins. Very interesting. So... It's remembering stuff visually, but even though the sensors are saying to it, hey, it's not there, the car is still showing it up. What about now? Will it still, yeah, look at that. It still is showing it up. All right, it's saying that it can park itself here. Let's give it a go. Why not? Let's see what, see what it wants to do. Okay, it's still backing up, still backing up. I'm actually really impressed with how it's done that. And I've tried it, I've tried it doing that a few times on smart summons, but it's not able to do it. So I wonder why the auto park system worked so well when smart summon wouldn't do that. So here's another big test. My dog's about to come out and we're gonna see what it thinks a dog is. Now, again, look, you can see that it's not actually picking Holly up there. So I'm just gonna drive forward slightly and see if it does. Here comes Faro. No, it doesn't show anything as, as Faro. Okay, so it's showing Holly again. So it picked up Holly. But no, it's definitely, it's definitely not showing a dog at all. We're going to try something else here. So Holly's actually going to put a cone on the bonnet. So you can see that there is a cone on the bonnet. And okay, perfect. And I just want to see if that brings anything new up on the visualization here. It's saying stop. I just want to see if a cone drives with us or anything here. Oh, the cone fell off. I want a cone to drive in front of us. Yes, it is. There's a cone driving in front of us. That is absolutely brilliant. Look at that. It's actually driving with us. That is hilarious. What if I brake hard? Oh, okay. It won't come off. I'm going to reverse out. Will the cone continue to follow us on the screen backwards? Yes, it is. That is absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's get this cone off. Here's another test for it. I love her so much that she's doing this. She's got a cone on her head. And is it showing a, a mad person with a cone on? No, it's not actually showing. Can you go back a little bit further? I just want to see if it picks it up at all. No, it's just showing Holly as a person. It's not showing any other cones. What if I drive towards her? No, it's definitely not showing any other, any other cones. Next up, we're gonna try the wheelie bin with a person stood on it. What does it think? So there's the wheelie bin. So it's showing the wheelie bin ahead of us. It's showing, <laughs> it's showing Holly behind it for a split second. Please mount the wheelie bin. It's just showing a wheelie bin. What if I get a little bit closer? I just want, oh, it did it for a split second. Let me do that again. For a split second, it showed her on top of the wheelie bin, I'm sure. Let me try that again. Okay, going forward, going forward. Where is it? Come on. Oh no, it shows her behind the wheelie bin. That is brilliant. It can now auto park, but you can see Holly's just put a cone in the space where it previously was free. Let's see what the car thinks and whether it actively sees and reacts to that cone. Is it gonna go over it? Yeah, without even thinking about it. It goes straight over the cone. Next up is the pole and cone slalom test. So it can definitely fit through there. I've just driven through uh, and we're going to see if the car can work its way through that or if it panics at all. So what is the car seeing? It's very clearly seeing the slalom, but obviously it's showing everything else as well at the moment, but it's definitely seeing the slalom. It's picking up the pole. And look at that. It is actively going through it. Oh, you can see the wheels turning kind of the wrong way now. Again, it can see that pole and it's actually showing that as a pole. And look at that. It has slalomed correctly all the way through those cones. That's actually really quite impressive. And for our final test, maybe the test of our relationship as well. Um, here's Holly in a giant cone costume. So <laughs> what we're trying to see... <laughs> Oh my god, look at that. It actually picks her up as a human. 
Can you go backwards, please, Cone? It's picking her up clear as day as a human and not as a cone. Keep on going backwards. Oh, look at that. There was a little cone on her head back there for a split second. But it definitely knows that that's a person. How, how does it know that? Okay, right. Let's, um, well, I mean, because it is a person, I guess. That's, that's the answer to that of. Let's see if it changes her. Okay, so now she's disappeared. I mean, it must be pretty confused. So I'm just going to drive to her a little bit and see. Again, it picks her up as a human. It's probably realizing that a cone can't be that big. That's a good shout. Okay, so can you can you go all the way to the black garage? So Holly's uh, actively thought to tuck her arms in. <laughs> and she's sitting down. But look at that. It's actually still seeing her as a person. Right, I'm going to back all the way out. And what are we seeing? Yeah, it's seeing a person, but I think that cone there, everybody, I think that is her as well. So it can see her and the cone. If you come to us. Yeah, look, you can see the cone walking as well. So the cones are definitely walking behind her. But she's actually, she's stopped moving and now it's just a cone. She is just a cone moving forward and it's completely lost the human aspect of her. Oh, and there she is. Now she's popped forward. So in really interesting how that's kind of worked. I've turned the car around. So we've now got a nice blank canvas in front of us. And you can see that it is seeing Holly as a person and a bin and a cone. So it's showing her as all three. So uh, do you want to put your sit down a little bit? We want to see if the size makes the difference. So if she squats down, what does it see? It's changed it to a cone, but it's still showing a person there, which is actually quite interesting. No, now she's just a cone. She's definitely a cone. Okay, walk to us very slightly. Oh, there's, it can pick up the Tesla as well. And yet, as soon as she stands up, it picks her up as a human rather than a cone. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> Here comes my daughter. Here she comes. Oh, look at that. Interesting. It's actually picking up a person and it's showing them further away because I, because I assume she's small. It thinks she's further away rather than the person being small itself. Could you go give mummy a fist bump? Go, go, go on then. Let's see what it does here then, guys. And Osh, across she goes. Interestingly, it actually hasn't picked her up at all. So I was hoping that that would track her a little bit better. It showed it as a human being far away initially, but on the second one there, it didn't show her at all. So, hmm, a little bit worrying. Okay, here is the final, final test. Uh, Holly's got a red pillow that we're going to be using as a stop sign. So she's going to pretend that that is a stop sign. Okay, let's go forward there. Please show a stop sign. Please show a stop sign. Is it going to show one? No, it's definitely not showing a stop sign. So sadly, we can't trick it with a red pillow. So there we have it. That is as wacky as I could get with the visualization here at home. Let me know if there's any other videos you want to see that I can do here from my house, because currently, like I said, we can't actually go anywhere. Uh, this was just for fun. I really didn't expect it to see half of the stuff it saw. And uh, I was actually quite surprised that it remembered so much of it. And I was actually really surprised with how well it can park in this one spot here. Uh, make sure to leave a like down below to Holly just because she's been an absolute dream in helping out with this video for a little bit of fun. And I hope it made you smile in a horrible time that we're all going through. Here we go. It's just going to reverse up nicely and park us back into our space. Brilliant. Good job, Tesla. Don't forget, everybody, if you do have to travel, drive safe, but please stay at home if you can.